Welcome to another iRacing video. Today we're talking HDR. So recently I've been trying to optimize my iRacing a little bit because of rain. Um, and while fiddling on my settings, HDR is a really weird one. And I want to know what the hell it was doing. I couldn't find any videos out there comparing it on and off and its performance. So I want to do some tests and make a video myself to show what HDR is doing and the effects it has on your performance. So one weird quirk about HDR and iRacing is that the checkbox that says HDR is actually HDRR, which is a high dynamic range rendering, which is basically just HDR effects that it's putting on the game. Whereas if you want actual true HDR, if you have like a HDR monitor, there should be HDR resolutions in the drop down resolution here. So there's two different things here. There's an actual HDR resolution and there's, an act and there's HDR effects, which are two different things. So in this video, we're just looking at the HDR effects and what they do and what they look like. I'm going to let a bunch more of these comparisons play out. And after the comparisons, we'll uh, come back and discuss what we found and uh, look at some performance as well. So, so yeah, let's check out these uh, comparisons. Okay, so now we've looked at the comparisons, the first thing I notice is the color grading and the depth. So with HDR on, it's a little bit cooler and there's a tiny bit more depth to the image. One of the main things that everyone's going to notice is the glare and that, that bright bloom from the sun. But I think the most important thing and the reason that I probably would turn this on is because it makes lights brighter, as in brake lights, rain lights. So as you can see here in the rain, with HDR off, you can barely even see that there's a car up the road. With HDR on, I can see that rain light. I can see it quite clearly. I think just for this alone, it's probably worth putting uh, HDR on if you can afford the performance. I did a bit of testing and it seems to be about five to 10 FPS hit uh, with HDR on. If you can afford 10 FPS or just turn something else off to gain that FPS back, uh, I think it's actually worth running HDR, especially if you're doing races in the rain. If you're not running rain races at all, maybe just don't even bother. If you are racing in the rain, I think you definitely want this on. I think it's actually going to help you stay out of trouble and just be able to see people. Um, so for that reason, I'm probably going to myself be turning this on and trying to gain back the FPS hit somewhere else. So yeah, 
that's HDR. That's what it looks like and that's what it does. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you find it helpful. If you did, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.